Sponsored by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. TrueTechTools.com. What's up, YouTube? Wanted to give a little bit of a video on the new Testo 755-2. Um, the new electrical meters have got different versions that are annotated by the dash one, two, or three. Um, and typically the one has got fewer features and the three has got the high-end features. This particular meter is primarily an amp and voltmeter. It is capable of doing uh, DC voltage, AC voltage, ohms, continuity, and it does have a rotating magnetic field uh, feature as well. It uses a simple tong amp reading rather than a clamp to get access to the wiring for an amp draw. There is a built-in light that is enabled between the tongs when you initiate the light. It also lights the screen. The meter is an auto ranging meter so it doesn't have um, a selection dial or other selectable feature um, buttons. But it does a pretty decent job from the past couple of days that I've used it at automatically detecting what you're trying to do. It does take a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to an auto ranging meter, but it um, is pretty intuitive. So it's kind of kind of fun, or I've enjoyed it the past few days. One thing that definitely takes a little bit of getting used to is the fact that it's not a clamp meter, which is what I've always been used to. So you can't just hang it on a wire while you're taking a voltage reading. And there's a couple of things that uh, are a little bit different with this meter. The first thing I noticed is that the probe cables are not removable. They are permanently built into the device and can't be replaced in the field, especially. But even though the cables aren't removable, you can disconnect the tips and change those out. They do have a couple of um, alligator clamp accessories available that can be installed with these instead of uh, contact probe tips. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of the features that it has take you over to my air conditioner and give you an idea of how it works when you're taking measurements. All right, so for taking amps, it's actually pretty straightforward. You simply slide the wire in between the tongs and it automatically picks up amps. It'll actually turn itself on when it takes a reading as well. Um, so. You can get your amp draw like that pretty straightforward. If you wanted to check uh, AC voltage, you would simply make contact with your positive and negative or just one positive and ground, whatever you're looking at. And you get a tone to let you know that you've got voltage and that rotational feature is always on so you may get a left or right display if you're checking DC voltage you simply go over to the DC voltage source and you make contact with your points of reference and it will tell you that you're getting DC voltage if you were checking continuity it would automatically, or checking ohms, it would automatically tone and switch to ohms as well. So you wouldn't have to switch around on your meter. And then it automatically goes to sleep whenever it's finished. So at this point I've only used the meter for a couple of days. I intend to use it as my primary meter for the next few weeks or so, depending on um, you know how my calls go and I'll definitely be posting 
more information as I use the meter on my Facebook group. All in all, I'd say it's a great basic meter as far as something that's easy to use. It automatically selects whatever you're on. The drawback that I would see in that is if it ever gets confused, you put it on DC voltage, it thinks it's looking for something else. You put it on something you're trying to get resistance on and it's looking for something else. And a um, couple of the things that I'd mentioned, or one thing I'd mentioned earlier, and another thing that I thought was kind of a big deal to be missing, um, the probes not being able to be removed is kind of aggravating because if you ever break the probes, you'd have to send it back for repair rather than just changing the probes. And then there's no way to secure the device to a piece of equipment. Um, it seems to me like it'd be very simple to have an integrated magnet in the back of the battery door so that you could stick the meter to the side of a piece of equipment while you were taking readings um, hands-free. Um, the light's a nice feature, but nothing that seems to make or break it for me. The probes are nice and supple, and the tips come off, and the tips are fairly strong. The tips come off of the probes. Makes that a nice feature. Um, these tips do not have any adjustment options. You can't give them more surface area. Um, there may be accessories that slide over some of these um, with the different types of meters, but I haven't seen those yet. Um, so, all in all, I'd say it's a good basic meter, maybe decent for a new tech starting out that just wants to read amps and volts and continuity every once in a while. Um, there is another meter coming down um, in the next couple of weeks. The, uh, I believe it's the 770 meter. That one's a more specifically designed for HVAC meter. It's got your um, micro amps, flame sensors, all of the readings that you would expect for HVAC. Um, something comparable, I would say, to the uh, Fluke 902 or the 902 FC. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Don't forget you can use coupon code RARVID at truetechtools.com to get $10 off your purchase of $10 or more. Get the discount on this device. This particular model, the 755-2, is, av is available for $174 right now at truetechtools.com. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Don't forget, you can use coupon code RARVID and get $10 off your purchase at truetechtools.com or the coupon code RARIDVM for $10 off your IDVM 510 meter. Thanks to the 100 Watt Vipers for allowing me to use their music also. You can search for my Facebook group at HVAC with Stephen Reardon or follow me on Twitter at Juvenile77. Thanks for watching. One man, your heart is heavy. You got troubles on your